is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have brand new wwe not wwe brad aew action figure news today guys you guys know i think it's like the last eight days or so we've probably done four or five videos on aew action figure news more leaked images more series coming out more things revealed to us from aew and you know the unrivaled collection and series coming forth guys today we have brand new series four news as well as some other crazy stuff going on as as well as some information about the chase variants in the series 4 and all of that stuff so let's go ahead and get started guys so you guys know the other day we did have some leaks we had the leaks what was it about series 4 Kenny Omega the series 4 Santana and the series 4 Matthew Hardy you guys know we put up the video we talked about it we showed it cased it talked about it the attires and everything going on with it well today ladies and gentlemen we have more reveals about the stuff and we're gonna go and go ahead and dive into it right now so the first thing that I have for you guys is from my man gun show under Score toys on Instagram and he revealed a photo of Series 4 Cody so we have pictures of Series 4 Cody right here which if you guys have thought about it you guys already know we're getting a ton of Cody Cody Rhodes figures we've already known this when Series 4 came out a lot of people were kind of annoyed that we got already another Kenny and another Cody in Series 4 but now we have images of said Cody and this looks damn great I am loving the way this looks so far you guys can kind of see from the image it's not a full package image but you can pretty much make out what it's going to look like. I will do my best to put up a side-by-side -side of what the attire is supposed to look like in full, but you guys can see there, he comes with a sleeveless shirt that looks great. I love the way that shirt looks. I think it looks quality. The ringside exclusive, little bit of the Bubbly Jericho, the shirt that came with that was really quality, so I'm guessing all of their shirts will be just as good, up to par with this shirt that we're seeing with AEW Series number 4, Cody. But you'll also notice that he comes with interchangeable head, much like Pac did in Series number 3. We have like a smiling sort of yelling face it looks it doesn't look like it's the blood brothers it looks like he's actually smiling it doesn't look like he's yelling like he was in the blood brothers two pack so it looks like we're gonna have like three different head sculpts here another thing you might notice with this figure guys is you'll also notice that he comes the head sculpt that he comes with looks pretty similar to a series one figure i don't know if it's identical but it looks pretty identical if it's not the same one it looks very very similar the hair color may be slightly different the sculpt might be slightly different but as far as i'm concerned Concerned, the face scan looks pretty much the damn same. So some things to note about this figure, guys. The attire is gold. It looks like it has like this yellowish gold to it. I love the way it looks. I can't remember the exact date that he wore this. I'm sure it was like on Dynamite or something. It's not standing out to me, but I really love the Pharaoh shirt, man. You guys know that Pharaoh is his dog. You guys can see it says Nightmare on it. I mean, this is a really sick figure. I like the way it looks, and I really don't have any issues with them releasing Cody. It looks like Cody, Kenny, and, and the Young Bucks are probably going to be like, like we've said many times, the Roman Reigns, the Rocks, the John Cena's of the set, which I don't mind. I think they look great, and this figure looks great as well, so... I'm all for all the Cody figures. I can't wait to get, you know, a big collection in here. I've always been a big fan of the different gears that he wears and the different, you know, attires that he wears. So, it doesn't bother me one bit. I would love to know what you guys think of it down below. But I think this figure looks good. Up next to Kenny, up next to Matt Hardy, up next to Santana, we are going to get more figures in here. So, I think that at the more images that we get, I think we're going to continue to be impressed. But Series 4 is looking really damn good so far, guys. We also have another figure leak. Now, this one's insane, Brad. This also comes to us from gun show underscore toys on Instagram and it is this new like AEW unrivaled like champions pack or something like that I can't make out what it says in the bottom right corner it says champion obviously but underneath that I can't really see what it says but you guys will see in the middle of the packaging, what do we have? We have a double or nothing Cody Rhodes figure with the TNT Championship. And I'll also pull up another image on the side so you guys can see exactly what attire this is going to be. But it looks like another... I, I can't tell if this is the same head sculpt. It looks like it's the same head sculpt that we're getting with AEW Series number 4. And you guys know that we are getting like a podcast with the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast on AEW figures. I'm pretty sure we're going to get some more reveals in the next couple days. I want to it's on the 26th it may be on the 29th I can't remember the exact date I want to say it was the 26th though could be the 29th like I said 
but I think we're going to get more information on this, you know, this new Unmatched series, and we're going to do videos on all of this stuff, so stay tuned, turn on the bell for notifications, because we are going to cover all of this, but the TNT Championship looks really, really good, this is our first time getting that title, and I guess this is going to be a way to get the championship belts out, and you know, like a cool entrance stage, you guys can see Double or Nothing in the background right there with the pyro going off, you got the Cody Rhodes figure, I'm not sure if this is going to be like ringside exclusive, I'm not sure if these are going to go out to retail, I don't know what the case is, but I like the way this Cody looks again. I like Cody's figures, but that's another Cody Rhodes figure. So if, if we're counting from the beginning, guys, you got the Series 1 figure. You got the Series 1 Chase variant. You have the Blood Brothers 2-pack. You have the UK exclusive figure. You have the Series 4 figure. And then you have this one. And I might be missing one, but I'm pretty sure that's all of them. That is six different Cody Rhodes unrivaled style figures that we have gotten so far. I call them unrivaled. I know the series names are different, but I, I refer to it like an elite figure. You know, it's an elite figure and stuff like that. So that's what I call the AEW figure. So it's an unrivaled figure. That's that same, you know, style that we get. The double jointed arms, the same torsos, things of that nature. But let me know what you guys think about this. This is insane. I think we're probably going to get more in this champion series. I love the packaging. I think it looks great. I also like everything going on with it with the fonts and stuff. TNT Championship, Smiling Head Sculpt. Another thing you'll probably also notice about the Cody figure, guys, is he actually does have his neck tattoo. You can actually see it, and I'll get in there as best I can. I know the images aren't the greatest quality, but uh, you guys can see there on the neck that it's there. And again, we're probably going to get more information on all of this stuff. Series 4, Unmatched Series, this new Champion Series, or whatever the case this is called. And I think we'll get all that knowledge very, very soon in the coming days. But I think both Cody figures look really, really good. I don't have any complaints about them. I'll collect all the Codys, you know. I, I'm going to collect every AEW figure they release. So I don't really have a problem with anything they decide to give us. So obviously I want to expand the roster. But I'll take anything they can give us because I'm enjoying this line very much so far. The last thing that I want to cover with you guys. Not only do we have the two Cody figure reveals and the new Championship 2-pack or the championship pack with the TNT championship and all of that. I also have some information regarding the Chase variant, which is going to possibly be Matt Hardy. Now, this comes to me from Prince Reliza. His name's Emmanuel Perez. He posted this little picture here, and he says, here is why it is the one of 500 for Series 4. I put it together. So his take right here on this Matt Hardy from Series 4 he says, uh, hot scoop, I realized this starting at the pick. This is the rare 1 in 500 Matt Hardy. Bottom left is in gold. Rare is gold. So I guess he's referring to the, the number on the side of the packaging and the series number on the bottom left is in gold foil. So I'm guessing that I don't own any of them, so I can't confirm this, but all the series that I own are in the white color. They don't have the sheen to them or anything like that. And I think if you go back to New York Toy Fair, and I have this photo here of the 1 of 500 Rare Edition Cody Rhodes in packaging, you know, the little render image here. If you go to the bottom left, guys, it is confirmed in the bottom left of that corner, you will notice that it is in gold. So I guess he is onto something here that any Chase variant or, or Rare variant of a figure in this wave or in these Unrivaled waves is going to have the gold foil for the, the figure number and the series number. So I guess that is confirmed that this is a image of the Chase variant version. And you guys see there in the, he has some other points here. It says, two, the red portion on the top right seems to be a hologram similar to his WWE Elite. Now, you guys remember in my video the other day, I, when I when I analyzed this figure, I said, I don't know what the hell that little red thing is in the top corner, but I guess if you do stare at it, you can make out, you know, Matt Hardy's head. Like, I can see the, the like, sort of silhouette of Matt Hardy up there on that red thing. So I guess it's going to be very similar to the hologram that we got with his WWE Elite figure, which I'll pull up now. And you guys can remember what we got with that and everything. So I guess that's pretty good analyzation right there. I didn't even notice this. The hats off to Reliza for this information right here, because that's that's pretty good inspection. I I, I, I should have been better, man. I mean, I, I didn't even notice this, but it does look to be a hologram. You also have the series number in gold. And then three, he says Vanguard 1 is right behind him where his picture is shown. So upon further investigation, you can see again that it does look like Vanguard 1 is behind Matt Hardy in the packaging. So we're going to have two different drones, two different uh, holograms here with our action figures, one from AEW, one from Mattel and WWE. So I think that's really awesome as well. Really good analyzation there by Emmanuel. And a huge shout out to him for that photo that uh, I found on Twitter. So that's pretty interesting things. I think that's pretty crazy and everything. So we have AEW Unrivaled Collection Series 4 Cody leaked. We had the new TNT Championship Cody figure that we're getting. Don't know any information really on that just yet. And then 
then we have the Chase variant Matt Hardy that we analyzed. And again, we do have the, you know, the hologram and we are getting Vanguard 1. I don't know how I couldn't see that. Um, I guess just because of all the glareness and all that good stuff going on. But I think that pretty much does it for today's news. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think of the Cody Rhodes figures. Like, are you guys sick of the Cody figures already? Or are you like, damn, I don't care. Just release more figures. you think I'd give a John Brown, Brad? Or are you like, damn, Brad, I'd like to see new figures? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below, guys. Before we get out of here, though, I do want to get into our random shout-out. This comment shout-out is going to go to Mr. Championator, who says, Triple T. Trusty knife, trusty hair dryer, trusty awk phone. And the awk phone is from our toy hunts. We use the awk phone in the toy hunts. If you guys missed the toy hunt from yesterday, guys, definitely go check that out. I'd really, really appreciate it. We went on a toy hunt out of town, and that's all I gotta say, Brad. That's all I gotta say. Just go check it out. But a huge shout out to Mr. Championator for that comment. Made me chuckle a little bit. I like that good stuff right there. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of this news and all the leaks down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. And oh yeah, don't don't cross the line, Brad. You cross the line, I've been beaten